if your plan covers incontinence supplies, you're going to need a prescription from your from your child's doctor detailing the size and the brand and quantity that's needed on a monthly basis. You can then contact your insurance company and ask them for a list of providers under the category of DME, durable medical equipment. And sometimes the incontinence supply benefit falls under a subheading under DME of expendables. If your plan tells you that there is no benefit for incontinence supplies, you want them to put that in writing to you or you download a summary of benefits that's on the website, once you have a piece of paper that says that it is not a covered benefit on the plan, you can take that piece of paper to uh, Medi-Cal. Uh, that would be your next stop. I wanna add to that for Medi-Cal, um, for that denial, the denial has to be for every part of that incontinent supply. So not just diapers, but uh, disposable under pads, they call them chucks. Um, also, uh, barrier cream, like if you need diaper cream, um, the Medi-Cal will also pay for waterproof mattress covers, I think once or twice a year. Um, but you need your doctor to write the prescription out for each and every one of those things. If you want them to be included in the denial, you want to make sure the denial lists each and every one of those things as not covered benefits. And then you take that denial letter plus the prescription to um, a provider that contracts with your Medi-Cal plan. Um, they need a copy of that written denial from your private insurance, and then they can provide those things to you. Um, so the regional center is going to come in in two situations. One, un under three, if there's financial hardship, and that's something that you really have to talk to your service coordinator about. The, the main area where, uh, after age three, the main area where regional center can come in is a lot of our kids, especially if they have a lot of medical complexities, may have allergies to the diapers that the medica that medical uses. They may have sensitive skin. Um, they may the diapers may not be adequate. They may not provide adequate coverage. And then you may be in situations where the child cannot go out in the community and 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 be independent because their their diapers are leaking. Um, they, there's not you know sometimes kids have structural differences and maybe their body is a different proportion and the diapers just don't fit them. There are a variety of different reasons why the Medi-Cal diapers may not work. And medic the providers who provide Medi-Cal diapers may not have any other brands. So you would need to document that. You would need to show that you tried the Medi-Cal brands. You need to show that you tried to find another provider who had different brands. Um, and you need to have something from your doctor saying that it's medically necessary, that they need diapers and that they need to be a certain brand or that they need to not be a certain brand. You can take that to the regional center and they can often provide either vouchers for diapers or reimbursement after the fact. And if you if you go the reimbursement route, you have to fill out some the vendor paperwork um, to become a parent vendor through the regional center so that you can receive checks from them.